This is what's going on with Caitlyn. She ain't the problem. She's the solution. There's nothing to figure out. She's already done it for y'all. Guys, I have never seen anything like this in my life. I told y'all, it's a handoff. Half back sweep up the middle. It's not a pass. It's going to get intercepted in the, on the goal line, Russell Wilson. On oh, the goal line. It's not a pass. It's a handoff. It's an alley-oop. And I can't say it's a layup for y'all because y'all missed too many damn layups in the WNBA. Yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body, and welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Plays. You know what's up? You know what time it is? We back. We back talking about Kaylin, the WNBA sports world, anything that's going on in your world, guys. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate y'all, boys. Y'all been going cuckoo, crazy, cuckoo for cocoa puffs on 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 the comments. On the views, on the likes, oh my God, man, the subscribers, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me, man. I appreciate y'all so much, man. And look, if you are new to the channel, you know what you got to do. Well, you don't know what you got to do, but you're going to know now, right? <laughs> you're going to know now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button for this video and all my other videos. And hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos. Thank y'all so much. Hey, real quick, where, where y'all from out there? Y'all in the comments where y'all watching me from. Put it in the comments where y'all from and tell me, how'd y'all find me? How did y'all find this, this sexy chocolate bean? <laughs> how did y'all find me for real, man? I want to know, man. I like to engage with the people, man. This is it's fun. It, uh, I get to learn new things about the, the topics that I'm bringing to you guys. I'm pretty sure y'all do, too. Y'all get to engage with other people. It's fun. It's fun. And that's what we're here for. So without further ado, let's talk about what we're here for. We're here for Caitlyn. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. This young lady is the savior. I told y'all, if you watched it in my video, she's the chosen one. They put her in this spot because they believe in her. They believe in her. And you know what? The WNBA believed in her too. That's why they got her. That's why they wanted her over there so bad. It ain't the WNBA. It's the people in the WNBA. They got a problem with the new big ticket. I said it. This the new big ticket. I'm sorry, Kevin Garnett. You got to move to the side. You got to let her borrow your nickname for a little while. Let, let's just let her borrow it and play with it for a little bit. Because she, <laughs> she, people are still for her, man. That girl is a walking. Look, she's a walking bucket, too. She's a walking bucket. If, if she could produce anything for what I've been going back and looking at her do in college, if she could do anything like that, boy, these people are in trouble. And I know Candace Parker came in there and she did her thing. Shout out to Candace Parker. I'm not hating on you. But it just wasn't your time. You understand what I'm saying? There is a time and place for everything to happen. Now, you are a part of time. You're a part of the history. So nobody's going to discredit you. They're always going to big up uh, Candace Parker. But it just wasn't your time. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that was a thing that you were supposed to be doing in life. Hooping got you there. Right? Hooping got you there. Where you are right now, uh, doing the announcing. This is where you're supposed to be. Now, if you want to come back to the league, <laughs> you want to come back to the lead and show these boys what you got go ahead and do it because i'm gonna tell you something the money's coming the money is coming do y'all realize how many people are talking about the WNBA now look i watch it is what it is with cameron and mace i watch it often it's the only sports show that i watch now i might turn on espn uh first take on my uh alexa but i don't have espn in the house i don't have none of these channels seriously so when y'all get information from me, this shit is coming straight from me. I'm sorry for cursing. <laughs> but you know your boy been working on it, man. I know y'all been seeing it, man. But I'm, I told y'all I'm an 80s baby. I'm from an era of reckless behavior. So you know it comes out. And I know y'all see your boy rocking the Astro jersey today. I'm, a, I'm all over the place. But let me, I'm going to get back on the topic that I want to address y'all with. But I'm rocking the Astro jersey today. My wife got me this for Father's Day. And ironically, it is my dad's favorite team and he is no longer here. And in honor of him, and for this video, I wanted to do, I want to wear this jersey for him, man. So you might see me step out of character in my polos <laughs> every now and then, but it's going, I'm in the Astros jersey right now, representing my, my dad's favorite team. Rest in peace to him. Um, City of Houston, rise up, man. Get your sports games together, because I know the Texans are going to be on their rise, but we ain't talking about Texas right now. We're going to talk about Caitlin. Now, I know how I told y'all that Caitlin is the, the, the new big ticket. And I know Kevin Garnett, you can get mad all you want, but until your ass learn how to say equivalent, 
Don't you say shit to me. Back with the straight talk wireless wheel. Uh-oh. Might have a... See, I never, I never know where it's going to go. Okay, here we go. Kind of like name an NFL equivalent for each NBA player. <laughs> You can't say nothing to me, Kevin Garnett, because this girl is doing something that hasn't been done in 23 years of the WNBA. Her and Angel Reese in the game they just had Sunday had the most viewers ever, ever in the entire WNBA history. In all that time that sport been there, this is the most it has been watched in history. I bet money. That this sport right now has been watched way more than it was in 2023, way more than it was in 2022. And watch how the numbers like, like increase because the NBA season is over. People don't really get into baseball unless you're just a really baseball fan until like the until you get to the playoffs. And hockey's coming to an end. And who I don't know who watches hockey. I actually want to go to a game. Uh the Olympics is coming up in August. You got nothing but the WNBA. WNBA, this is your time to shine. Y'all better get out y'all damn feelings. This is no time for y'all to be in y'all feelings. And y'all need to accept, accept this girl for coming up in there and changing the culture. Be mad all the hell you want. You can be mad, but don't show that shit. Don't show it. Because are, are, are you people out there who's bitching and complaining? Like, I, I get on it because I see them. Everybody who's in there, in, I'm not going to say no names then. Everybody who's in their interviews who say Caitlyn's name out loud in their interviews or they make a reference towards her when this girl is not saying or doing anything to anybody. She ain't saying nothing. When she get up there in the conference to talk about the game and only the game. It is you guys. Well, not you guys. <laughs> the ones who watch them. But the, the media who's trying to hype this up, Who talk about this is a race war, not nah, Dr. Umar talking about this is some racial shit. It's a no damn race war. Do y'all remember Larry, Ver Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson? If y'all that old, there was no damn race war. This is just two basketball players who was great and they battled. And that's what you about to see right now. Because I'm going to tell you something, Angel ain't no slouch. And in the off season, watch these girls go get with somebody because the WNBA is about to be bigger than it's ever been. And it's all because of Kayla Clark. I don't care what none of y'all say. Do y'all understand that Kayla Clark is the reason why I'm where I'm at right now? You can't deny this girl's impact, not even only on the sport, but on life. On life. Because it's painting a picture. It's showing us that, hey, black people can be racist too. Y'all said it. It's showing us that black people can be racist too. We act real, I almost cursed. We act real messed up towards each other, right? Because this whole Caitlyn thing is starting to feel like the Deion Sanders thing. Hear me out. Hear me out. Deion Sanders took his happy ass over there to Jackson State, right? To build up this team. He wanted his son. You got to understand what he was trying to do. He wanted to coach his son on every level. You don't think Deion Sanders is not going to go to the NFL when his son goes to the NFL? Watch. Watch. Anyway, he goes over there to build this program. He had to use his own money. They couldn't even supply this man with water for his team out there when they was practicing. They couldn't do any of these things. You got people hooping and hollering and coming to the game. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. They're having fun now. He turned the whole school around. He turned around the culture. And then he got offered a bigger, better deal. You must be a damn fool to turn down a bigger, better deal. He took his happy ass over there to Colorado. I'm sorry. That's the last one. <laughs> that's the last one. He took his behind over there to Colorado. And what did he do over there? What did he do in Colorado? That man in the first game that they had in, in um, Boulder, the first game that they had, they raised $20 million for that community locally. Did anybody say shit to Deion Sanders? No, not the people that benefited. You know who said something? The black people got mad talking about why you ain't stay at Jackson State and do that for them. Why are you not doing that for Jackson State? What are alumni from these, these schools? Because that's how schools get money from the alumni and the booster clubs. It ain't up to Deion Sanders to go around over there and change everything. He gave y'all the blueprint. He gave y'all the keys. This, this school didn't even have jerseys. He got them brand all these different jerseys. That's what Dion did. And now look what he's doing for Colorado. And the people in Colorado, they love it. Thank you for coming over here. This is logic, guys. Get out your feelings.
You can't, you can't get, and you can't get mad at Dion because Dion came into a crappy program that won one game. You think I want to come into this program with y'all who only won one game? I'm a coach. You guys are the players. Y'all played like shit. So you know what that means? I got to get rid of all y'all and bring in my players who play way better than y'all. What does that sound like? You can't get mad at Kaitlyn in the WNBA on this sorry team. Y'all need to get some players over here to play with me. Why you not draft my partner? Why, you, why didn't you draft her? Y'all know how we rock. And I know y'all know that Caitlin beat Boston in last year's NCAA tournament. She probably got some feelings towards her. I, these are women we're talking about, guys. They carry stuff on their shoulders. That's what y'all forgetting. We're dealing with a bunch of women. So it ain't the WNBA. It's the women in the WNBA that's been hating. Shocker, right? How in the hell is y'all mad at Kayla for coming over there and bringing so much money, all this revenue into the, the league? Just like Dion did in Colorado. And the black folk got mad at him because he didn't do it for their schools. When y'all going to, when we going to do it? That's how it works. You can't get mad at this man for going out there and, and getting the bag. That's some, that's some poor people talk. That broke people talk crazy like that. Getting mad at somebody for going to go get, go get paid. You're not going get, to get on me. I'm not the problem. I was the solution for a little while. Now y'all figure it out. This is what's going on with Caitlyn. She ain't the problem. She's the solution. It's nothing to figure out. She's already done it for y'all guys. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I told y'all it's a handoff. Half back sweep up the middle. It's not a pass. It's going to get intercepted in the, on the goal line. Russell Wilson on the goal line. It's not a pass. It's a handoff. It's an alley-oop. And I can't say it's a layup for y'all because y'all missed too many damn layups in the WNBA. It's not a layup. I don't know, I don't know what's the highest percentage shot for y'all because <laughs> y'all missed shots at the glass. I don't know what to say. But whatever it is, it's just being given to you. And for y'all to treat it like how y'all treating it, boy, y'all got, got something coming. Yep, y'all got something coming. I'm going to uh, end this thing with this. Because this is how far I go back in the WNBA, guys. This is what I want y'all to, to realize. I remember uh, when I used to work in Houston on the north side. I used to work at uh, Northside Mall. I can't remember the name of the mall, but it was next to, I think, Burnett or Barnett Stadium out there where we used to run track. And I remember going into work one day. And Kim Parrott, bless, uh, God bless the dead. Uh, she passed away. That She had cancer. I remember going into the mall, right? And she had this stand set up. It was her by her damn self. Just had a stand set up. She had T-shirts out there, pictures and stuff like that. Lifestyle pictures of her and stuff. And I'm walking up there. There's nobody there. There's nobody getting the autograph, nobody taking pictures. I looked at her dead in the eyes. She looked at me dead in my eyes too. We, we made eye contact. And I just waved and kept walking. I don't, I don't, I didn't know what you want me to do. I, you want me to come over there and talk to you? Because you, I guess you need somebody to talk to. You need somebody to get, get some shirts. For you to sign, I'm good. I didn't need it. That's how people felt about the WNBA, guys. You think I'm lying? That's how they felt. It's an afterthought. I didn't care about that. You women over there talking, as much as they do talk about, man, we some hoopers, we some ballers, we was doing this and that. And then they talk about the people who talking about them. They talk about the podcasters and everybody. Because like, I don't give a damn how y'all feel about me talking about y'all. Because that's one of y'all issues right there. Your damn feelings. Who cares? Nobody was watching y'all like that, and you know it. Nobody was watching y'all. You didn't have nobody in them damn stadiums. It looked like the Jacksonville football games now. <laughs> it looked like them. It looked like the high school. Now I can't even say high school. It'd be more people at the high school games in Texas. It didn't look like anything, guys. And you can't get mad at us for that. Look, Kaylin is changing it around. She got a game tonight against the Mystic. They, that was one of their second wins, I believe. If, if Yeah, I think the one of their second wins, I think the Sky they beat first for their first win. It wasn't the Sky, it was the Spark, you idiot. You see, why don't you go look up some stats and figures before you start running your damn mouth? You know what? You're going to start a war between Caitlyn and Reese talking about their first win was against the Sky. You're looking for problems. You're looking for problems, Chocolate. I can't save you. Not every time. I can't save you. So they know what they got to do. They're clicking together. It has to be Kalen to Boston. It can't. It's, it, it's no longer Mitchell to Boston. This is no longer your guys' team. 
This is Caitlyn's team. Y'all have to accept it, right? The same way Dwayne Wade deferred to LeBron James, the same way. I can't remember where I heard this from, I, 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 but even even not having to hear it, I don't know if y'all know about Dwayne Wade, right? They don't talk enough about some of these players and probably Dwayne Wade because of his, you know, his situation. Seriously. Because they used to talk about Dwayne Wade all the time, but they don't as much as they used to. But this guy was a beast out there. Like that series against the Dallas Mavericks where he won his first championship, that showed y'all, it's like, hey, man, this dude might be the next Michael Jordan. People were saying that about him. He was that damn good. Now imagine being that person on your team, the alpha, and you got to step down and defer to the next person. He gave the team over to LeBron. Hey, LeBron, this is yours. That's what you have to see right now with Caitlin and them. But I'm going to let y'all know something. <laughs> when it comes to these women, especially these women, because they, I, I don't know what is up with y'all. I don't know what's going on since the feminist movement that you guys just really truly believe that y'all don't need nobody. All this independent talk, y'all using the wrong term. It should be interdependent because ain't none of y'all over there making no babies without us. What's going on? So y'all is, is not independent. It's interdependent. And you guys are leaning too much into y'all masculine. Y'all got to chill out. We trying to help each other, guys. Some shit didn't happen. Some shit didn't happen in life. I know it's happened to a lot of us. And we got to learn how to deal with it. Whatever y'all dealing with, y'all got to learn how to deal with it. Because y'all taking y'all anger out on Caitlyn. Caitlyn's not the one that cut y'all. So why y'all keep bleeding on her? Ooh, y'all stop bleeding on her. Stop bleeding on this man. Y'all getting, y'all finna get paid. And y'all doing this. Y'all better go talk to Dion. Dion, go talk to these fools. And tell them, y'all want y'all money? You better shut up and let this little white girl ball. <laughs> Look, man, that's my time. Oh, shit, 16 minutes. Look, if y'all made it to the end, oh, I cussed again. I'm going to put some bleeps up in there. I'm trying to stop cussing so much, guys. It's in my nature. I'm telling you. But if y'all made it to the end of this video, you know what y'all got to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. Leave a comment. Say, hey, man, I made it to the end of your video. Video. Bowl. <laughs> and say, just say something crazy. Look, if you made it to the end of the video, because I got this from Tobey. Uh, let's uh, skippity do wop. There we go. Skippity do wop. Don't ask me to spell it, but that's what you put in the comments to let me know that you're ready to the end of thing. Let me know you're a real chocolate. You, you're a real part of the chocolate crew. Man, I appreciate y'all for checking in with your boy. Like this video. Let's get this thing up there, man. Make me the household name, Chocolati. And I'm sorry for all y'all out there with the youngsters. I had somebody tell me to stop cursing so much because youngsters might want to listen to me, but uh, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but I never intended for this to be for youngsters. But if y'all checking this out, please watch it with y'all parents. Permission, uh, what's it? Permission advisory thing? Advise? Permission? I don't even know how to say it. Bro, parental advisory. Why I gotta keep bailing you out? Huh? Am I on your payroll? Guys, I'm sorry. Let me get this thing. I'm rambling. <laughs> y'all take care. Peace.